YouTube. Uh, we're, what we're doing here is we're doing a pattern. We're making a pattern out of brass. Um, I've been working with the green sand, sorry, the green sand, trying to get a good casting, and for some reason I can't. Uh, maybe somebody can watch. But uh, here, let me show you uh, one second what we made. We made uh, this piece here out of brass um, and uh, for a flywheel pattern for casting. And I, I just took these. Uh, these solid pieces here, and as you can see, I soldered them into this ring. Made it real smooth. What What's happening is every time we try to pull it out of the sand, uh, the sand sticks in these three areas. And so I've been working on this a week, trying to trying to make a pattern work, and I cannot. So so what we're going to do is try to make a two-piece pattern. So when we take it out of the mold, we can take it out in two pieces. Um, we're going to have the hub as one piece, and the outside ring as another piece. And incidentally, when we were doing this, uh, what we noticed is we got this really highly polished. You, you flip the mold over, and this would just literally, you know, this is good. It, it will just pop right out of the mold. Um, and then the the, uh, the other stuff's stuck in here, inside the sand is, the green sand. So the thought is, is if we make this a different piece than this, that we can go ahead and uh, mold it in green sand, flip it over, and this ring will pretty much fall out and then we can tap on this a little bit to pull it out the rest to have a good mold. The caster is on the truck for delivery today and if everything goes our way we actually will be doing um, some metal casting, brass casting today. So <clears throat> where we're at now is we've created a hub and I've marked the lines at 120 degrees and then we put it, put the we went ahead and milled out the three sections at 120 degrees out. And so these are the three spokes here. And uh, they're a little crooked, you probably can't see, but we're going to machine them straight, flat, for the back side. And then because the router bit left a curve, and because it will be easier to come out of the mold, we're going to round the nose of these. Um, and it'll give a nice aesthetic effect. So that's the plan. We're going to show you milling these flat, and then we're going to show you how we're going to put a curve on the top. Uh, so we'll get set up, and then we'll come back and uh, video. Okay, we flipped them over now, and we're just going to get another flat pass on this side uh, because they're still a little uneven on the other side.
stoppage just before the end. Now bring it down. So we got a couple back and forth passes to do here before we start rounding it over. So now we're putting in over the crafts. This is a Craftsman router bit, and it's a uh, you know quarter round, smallest one I got, and it's one of those three piece jobs. But uh, it's you know it won't be perfect, but it's going to be good enough for us. There you can see. All right, so we'll bring that down and uh, get kind of get set up, and we'll split the corner here, and then we'll uh, come back and show you the cut. Okay, so we'll try to give you an example of the profile. Hold on, hold on. Will the head spin? Yes, it will. Okay. You turn it on. And we're gonna go to super slow speed. Kind of see that, that first quarter there coming through. Eh, it's not perfect, but it's going to be good enough for the kind of work I do. We're going to go down this edge, then we'll turn around and uh, we'll go ahead and cut the other side. So generally, uh, router bits are made out of high-speed steel. I mean, or carbide. Uh, but the high-speed steel will, you know, will work on the softer metals, uh, brass and aluminum. So, as you can see here, we're cutting that bevel out. Sorry it's so shaky. Speeding it up a little bit. We'll set up for the, uh, the next cut and we'll be back. <laughs> You're into it. You gotta. Nope. There you
right, so we're gonna, this is the other bevel. We're gonna go ahead and finish this cut up and then we'll, um, we're uh, going to uh, buff these and try to give them a little bit more of a circular feature. Um, and then we'll dry fit and uh, then we're gonna solder these brass pieces into the, um, into the hub that I showed earlier. This is our template here uh, for our degrees. And uh, okay, and then we, we just buff the tops of these to give a little bit more rounded appearance. And uh, and uh, I'm going to try to fit these in here. Just dry fit right right now. There's one. That little uh, kerosene here kicked in there. When this is soldered, this is going to make a really nice fit. So that's what it looks like now. We're going to set up to solder these, um, and uh, then we're going to do some uh, finished machine work after we solder. Okay, so I've got this set up about a 20 degree angle. I'm sorry I missed the setup. Um, but I've got it set at 20. I'm just putting a uh, conical, whatever, relief on it, which is a decorative look. Okay. And now I'm going to get some fine sandpaper and clean that up. On this outside edge, I'm going to go ahead and just take the file and camper and give some relief to this outside edge too. And I'm going to go ahead and sand that as well. Be polishing this, of course. Okay, and here is the uh, after finishing the bevel on the front, uh, we'll be uh, soldering this next. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this video out right now, just due to timing and lunch and so forth. And, uh, and we're going to back come back and solder, and uh, and then we'll obviously we'll be cutting these legs down. Uh, and um, again this is the mold and we're going to try to just mold these pieces and we're going to try to go ahead and mold uh, this to the two piece so anyway thank you for watching this video and then I'll be posting another video in this series later today